today we are reviewing the UFI Smart Lock with built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, this is great. I really like Smart Locks. I like the ability to uh, punch in a keypad and unlock the door. I don't know if that's really considered a Smart Lock, but this one is a Smart Lock and it has features that I have had a hard time uh, keeping working with other manufacturers' products. UFI has some absolutely fantastic products I've been experimenting with around my home and looking at different ways to make my home a little bit more intelligent. And UFI being an Anchor company, Anchor produces a lot of products that I have a long uh, experience using. And so as I've been implementing more UFI products into my house, I've been just falling more in love with the way that they're doing things and not including the need for subscriptions and additional devices and stuff like that that ends up making things really expensive. The reason that I ended up buying this is I wanted a lock for our door that had a keypad that also was remote so that I can lock it because I, I have kids and sometimes they forget to lock the doors or I ask, did you lock the door? That means, uh, I don't know, and I've got to walk back to the house and check. Um, and something like this, I could just check through the UFI app and see whether the door is locked or unlocked. And if it is unlocked, I can lock it and feel secure about the fact that my house is, at least the door is locked. So with this device, it handles that. It connects, it doesn't require any additional devices. It will connect to your Wi-Fi and then it connects to the UFI app within your smartphone and you can control it there. The added benefits of this device is that it has a fingerprint reader as well, which is great because entering the codes is great. You can enter codes and you can program a ton of codes in there and give access to anybody via their own unique specific code. But you can also program in fingerprints. And the fingerprint unlock is very fast. You just put your thumb up, boom, unlocks the door, you're ready to go. You hit the thumb again and it locks the door. And that is fantastic. I, I love the password, but the thumbprint is way faster. And it actually stores that securely on the device, so it's not sending your thumbprint data off anywhere. It stores it securely on your device, just like smartphones did, so that your thumbprint is uh, safe and secure. But it goes beyond that. If you have Alexa or if you have Google Assistant, you can use those to unlock or lock your door. You can simply say the word to set it off, uh, lock the door or unlock the door and boom, it will lock or unlock your door. You could do it without having to even go into the app, which is absolutely fantastic. So I have additional UFI security devices as well. I have the cameras. I've got the smart package uh, lock box out on my front porch. And those products all have, uh, those have cameras in them as well. And so the cameras came with a little hub that stores all of the data here locally. So if I need to connect and see anything from my cameras, it's all gonna be stored locally, which is fantastic. I've got a separate video for that. So make sure to check out the additional videos here on the channel. So beyond that, this um, also is water resistant IP65, which is good enough for hard rain and everything to keep it. Obviously you can't submerge the thing underwater, but IP65 means that even if it is exposed to all of the elements, it's going to survive all of that and it's designed to survive all of that. It also, you're wondering, well great, that sounds like a lot of things and it runs off a battery, right? Yes, it does. It runs off a battery that is internal to the unit, but it is a 10,000 milliamp battery that gives you one year of battery life. I mean, one year of battery life off of that is fantastic. And so the battery is removable. You charge it with a USB cable that it comes with. And so I, I just have a charging day. I have a charging day for my cameras that last 180 days. I mean, come on, 180 day battery life for a security camera is pretty darn good. And so I have a charging day where I charge those and I just pull the battery out of the, um, like every other time I pull the battery out here and charge uh, that and it keeps it topped off. But there's also a little port underneath as well so that if the battery was to die, you can plug in a little external battery, like, you know, a little external battery pack uh, via a USB cable to the bottom and power it so that it can still be uh, operated. It also comes with a key, so you can swing the little door um, off the front. It's got a little door you just swing and then you can unlock it with a key. So you're never truly gonna be 
uh, stuck outside, not able to get into your home or your office, wherever you were using this, because you have a key as a backup, and then you also have the ability to power it from the outside should you go so long as the battery, uh, you know, going dead. This device, I think, is well worth it. It is one of the more expensive um, keypad locks, but with Wi-Fi and the ability to lock and unlock the door from anywhere, even program in, in codes for people remotely. So if you have a VRBO or you're doing some Airbnb, uh, being able to program in a unique code for the person visiting uh, or the person using your property and then the ability to delete that code while still maintaining your codes and any other access codes that you gave anybody remotely is fantastic. I could sit here and program in codes to my lock without leaving this seat and I don't even have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So that's a lot of value in a lock. They also have additional models that are not as feature packed, maybe one without the Wi-Fi, one without the thumbprint. So that way you don't have to implement these all over the exterior doors to your home, but you could put one of these on the front door and you could put one that just has the keypad on the back door um, with access uh, for just programmed in uh, codes. And there's just a lot of options there. And the smart devices are getting smarter and they're actually starting to make life a bit easier, being that I can completely manage this device from my smartphone is huge. And um, like I said, when I was talking about the UFI security cameras, I, I, I do feel like I am hyping this product up quite a bit and people tend to do that on YouTube. I purchased this product with my own money to implement it in my own home. This video is not sponsored. UFI doesn't even know that I'm making this video and won't see it until it goes live and they find it on their own. But uh, I stand behind this product because I've been using it in my home. My kids have been using it. I've been remotely locking my door as we drive away from the home. And it's been solving the problems that I have as a parent and the need to just have some control over the doors in my home. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I, I haven't really been able to find a product like this that has all the features built in that works as well as it does with other products within the smart home. Having kind of one app for my, uh, my door lock, for my cameras, and all that good stuff keeps it simple and keeps things safe. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. There's links in the description to this product. I hope that you use that link over to Amazon. It's where you're gonna find the best price for the product is over on Amazon. But if you have any thoughts or comments, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. Click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I put out new videos. But that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much, and I'll see you back in another one soon. Take care.